it occurred to me after uh, speaking with you uh, last night on the telephone uh, and you now having your uh, groovy Samsung Galaxy uh, S3 phone uh, and uh, you know it's a little daunting if you're not used to these smartphones I sure wasn't about six months ago but uh, I did uh, buy as you know this uh, Samsung Galaxy Victory model it's a kind of a mid-range a lower budget Galaxy uh, phone but uh, highly competent in my opinion uh, it's my first real smartphone uh, and you know I don't even use it for uh, uh, my phone calling as you know and others know from some of my YouTube uh, uh, channel videos uh, that uh, this I use as my internet uh, connection because in this town there is a, a newly uh, uh, installed uh, 4G network and this uh, phone was uh, uh, Virgin Mobile's first 4G phone and uh, man I snapped, snapped it right up uh, and you know the prices come down on these uh, 100 bucks uh, I paid uh, 249 uh, and uh, now they're about a buck 49 so uh, it's a real good value now but now uh, Virgin Mobile has about five models of uh, 4G phones and you know the S3 is uh, certainly a much better one than this but you know it's it's got a bigger screen and, and stuff that I don't use anyway because like I said I don't I don't really use it for the phone I just use it for that 4G ability and it it works brilliantly I use it uh, right here next to my uh, computer and uh, I use it via that uh, USB cable you see right there and uh, that is how it works without causing any uh, uh, data usage uh, problems or anything. Uh, Virgin Mobile gives you un unlimited data and uh, but this phone and uh, for other reasons I guess uh, the wireless hotspot is is a bugaboo with them but uh, you know as long as you hook up a a USB cable it works brilliantly with a little piece of software and uh, that's that and so I use this for my internet uh, but still for you not so much because you have your phone away and you're at work and uh, uh, you know you actually use it for a phone so you are having a little bit of trouble from you know what I can tell uh, initially with you know all the stuff on these things you know how do you set it up you know I you uh, already, you know, have gotten your contacts started, and, and that's a good place, uh, and, uh, you know, that's important. But uh, the whole uh, layout of Android is kind of tricky and different, but it kind of follows the, uh, you know, the computer uh, graphical user interface uh, uh, schema of icons and uh, a desktop concept and as you can see mine is a little a little different than what you get right from the factory I put on a a, a personal picture and I've actually uh, added a, a, a launch or a, an aftermarket program that kind of the changes the whole look and and feel of uh, the Android uh, uh, front end and so you know but everything pretty much follows the same same concept so I'm gonna run you through some things that I think uh, uh, you might find important beyond just adding contacts so uh, first of all you have what I'll call your desktop and as you can see mine kinda uh, scrolls from side to side into uh, three screens and that's what how I have it I you can pinch these down and you'll see those three screens and uh, the center one is the one I use uh, for my primary uh, uh, starting point and that's where I always come back to you can uh, set those screens to, to more and uh, I think with my aftermarket uh, launcher uh, uh, you can get up to five screens but I like it three is fine I don't need a whole bunch of you know pages or, or desktop uh, spaces to flip to so I just use this one I keep it clean and uh, uh, I keep a clock widget up here with a little uh, uh, date uh, uh, over there and uh, I keep it clear of just about everything else and uh, down below are some shortcuts you can see you can see the uh, common ones that you'll be using for answering phones and making calls. You just 
click on there if you want to go to your contacts boom you're there and uh, of course you you probably noticed uh, this uh, center uh, uh, little hard hardware button is your home screen that'll always take you back to whatever screen you you designate and if you want to designate that one I forget how to do it but yeah. anyway your home your home uh, screen button is the the center one and uh, let me get those back there but as you can see much like the uh, desktop uh, uh, scheme up top here down below is some shortcuts and you can load them up I don't know how many you can get on there, but uh, I've got them set to three three also as well So you can see those uh, shortcuts are there and uh, Inherent in the phone will will be a lot of uh, uh, factory installed apps uh, some of them you can delete some of them they won't let you delete but as you can see, that little shortcut will take you to all of the apps that are inherent on your phone. You can add some to it. I've added several, but, uh, you know, just like changing pages or desktop uh, uh, portraits, uh, you can see all these different apps. This is actually, uh, let me... Let me see. This is this Nova settings or this Nova launcher application down here is... is that aftermarket app I added to change some of the, the look and, and feel and and uh, customizable uh, ability in mind but uh, most of these are the same apps you'll have on your s3 you'll have even more that's a it's a groovy phone so these are your apps and there's widgets too if you keep uh, swiping you'll get to the widgets and they're a little different you see the apps are here the widgets are here but if you're going from from apps to widgets you, you know they'll just keep doing it until you get to those so you don't have to switch so widgets are much like apps they're just maybe smaller apps and uh, I hope you're catching all this um, different apps if you want them if you see one you like like uh, let's demonstrate one Here's a clock. It's called Funky Clock. You just press and hold on it, and it will show up right there on that home screen of yours. And I've got this. This is kind of a funky arrangement itself because I've got this uh, uh, antenna booster pickup, but I've also uh, attached this uh, little uh, uh, clip, belt clip on here, so it doesn't sit really flush on there, but it still picks up the... Uh, as you can see the 4G I'm getting four or five bars there so anyway that's how you put a widget there and you can once they're on your desktop you can press and hold and move them to a different section you can actually move them down into this little shortcut too if you want same with any any application icon just press and hold move it right down into that I don't know, maybe the widgets don't go into those little little spaces only the apps do but anyway, you might even be able to uh, change the size of these. Yeah, resize it. See, it can now. If you click remove, you're not deleting that. It's not going away forever. It just goes back to where it was uh, in the uh, widgets uh, section, and you can bring it back later. So if you want to uh, get rid of it now, you can. But let's see what resizing looks like. Okay, let's. Uh, oops. Let's resize it. I keep turning. Yeah, well, fooey on that. I'll make it go away. Goodbye. So that's how you get uh, a widget out there, and that's what this is up top here. I like this nice, clean, uh, uh, simple uh, clock up top, and I got it uh, thrown up there uh, against that black so it shows well. And... Uh, I put some app icons or some shortcuts to them right here also, but the way you move the apps uh, around is just like with the uh, widgets. You just move them around. But the apps, oops, but the apps you can actually put down into that shortcut area. See how you just drop them right down there and they're, they're there if you want them. 
Now I don't really want that app. I don't use it there too much. I'll just drag it back to the desktop and then press and hold and push it and it'll change the page and I can put it right back where it was. You know this picture here was a wider picture so it spans pretty much those three uh, those three desktop uh, uh, portraits so you know there was some trim this is where the door was uh, uh, opened and it threw a shadow so that was a nice place to put these these application icons and as you can see there are some of the more common ones I use but not so much I really don't the, where the real action is is right down here in these uh, ones right in the center home page uh, and these might be you know the same ones you'll be interested in and answering and making calls uh, here's your voicemail this app uh, email uh, comes with the phone and you may want to take a look at that because uh, you just set it up uh, mm, you just let me see add an account I think is what we want to do maybe I've already done it yeah oh, let's see okay the setting let me do that let me show you how to set up that for your email so that's the email uh, uh, application that comes with the phone right there you can see but uh, let's uh, show you how to do the uh, settings this uh, button over here is your uh, system settings uh, and you can see it right there system setting and this will bring you to all of these settings that your system uh, uses and this is an important uh, uh, section so it's got a hard hardwired button down here to the left and uh, see there's those accounts so back this has its own dedicated uh, section for uh, setting up the accounts for your email so click on that I've already got mine uh, uh, set up uh, but uh, it'll ask you you know to add an account and you'll just click on that and uh, I don't know you'll type in uh, whatever email you have and the password and then you'll be able to uh, get all your emails uh, right on your phone like I am see this is to my email account uh, at New Jerusalem Times uh, uh, at me.com and so you know anybody who sends me an email you know I'll get it on this phone and uh, uh, that's a helpful thing so you can set that up yourself so there's your emails here's your uh, text messaging uh, little program now all of these little programs have, have undoubtedly got aftermarket programs as well these ones are are the factory ones you get out of the box from from the phone uh, manufacturer itself or, or some variant of it uh, maybe uh, you know Google has purchased uh, Android so Google Android and, and this is a Samsung phone so they're all kind of in on what's going on here but there is aftermarket uh, applications that you know you might find a little more elegant or better than than some of these but I, I find right out of the box these are fine because basically I don't use them anyway so um, and here see Google's already got its uh, app for uh, uh, Gmail and I have a, a Gmail account because I, I've got a YouTube channel they make you get one to get a YouTube channel so anything that comes into uh, Gmail will come into here but I could probably also uh, set that Gmail to end up in this other email account too so uh, here's a little icon for the uh, uh, settings but you know that's the same as that hardwired button so uh, to your left here so you could actually just get rid of this and take this out let me hold down on that drop it there but you see it was already showing me that I could delete it right from there so I'll, I'll hold down again whoops let me hit the back button a couple times I'll hold down on that and it asks you to remove it yeah I, I don't want to go away because like I said this hard uh, hardwired button uh, is the settings button anyway so that gives you one press two presses and you're there now with that one, since it was placed in that uh, 
shortcut section down below I would have had to swipe once press one to get it so it's the same number of twits fiddles whatever you call them and uh, you know so since they've got it hardwired I don't I don't need the shortcut okay so anyway getting to those settings uh, let's take a look these are settings Wi-Fi is a wireless uh, 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 means of communication between devices and other things and uh, generally speaking you want to keep it off because you know it creates interference needlessly and uh, it'll suck down your battery too so many times the phone will automatically turn the Wi-Fi on but you turn it off if you're ever in these settings just check it and there's another way to check uh, some of those settings too is just to pull down the notifications like that from whenever you're on the home screen you can just swipe down come on stay down it's not staying down okay I went far enough and then it stayed down and that has the uh, Wi-Fi settings up there so you could just turn it on or off if you see it lit like that turn it off and see it's already telling me who else's Wi-Fi is out there going on and you know I don't care to know any of that stuff okay so Wi-Fi is on we want to turn it off and that's it you just click it hit it once and, and it's off and hit the home screen again let's go to those uh, system settings because we check down here at the uh, lower left hardwired button and that's the system setting click on system setting we're back to where we were and we're looking at Wi-Fi same with Bluetooth if you're not using a Bluetooth headset or something else make sure it's not going uh, data usage you know you don't care about that because you know Virgin Mobile uh, gives you unlimited data it's brilliant the best value in town no contracts and uh, you know if you watch my YouTube uh, channel you can see how to do that tax-free too more settings I don't know what's in there airplane mode so you know that's a quick way to quiet everything down so I don't know it doesn't interfere with the plane and you go down in flames or something uh, but just swipe down here nothing else is really in there that I find uh, helpful so it's all off let's hit the back button let's go to sound volume yeah that's probably important uh, I've got all mine turned up the ringtone the the speakers but on notifications I've got it set real low because when this thing is sitting here at night I don't want beeps and buzzers going off just to tell you that you know Virgin Mobile just uh, you know added some uh, a coupon for you I don't know so I don't care about notifications being uh, that loud at all if any system yeah moderately loud so that all is how I like it you can of course put it any way you want so just dismiss that when it's done uh, volume ringtones I've got a custom ringtone I clipped off a, a Blondie song that I like uh, device vibration you know all this stuff vibrate when ringing not so much alright let's hit the back button let's continue on sound uh, display wallpaper LED uh, you know their notifications LED lights up that's a little light in the corner there uh, yeah okay I, I'll take a little bleeping light that doesn't make noise uh, so it'll alert me okay yeah I want to check that uh, nothing too remarkable there Wait, let's go back to display. Anything else down there? Not so much. Not so much. Uh, storage. I've got a, a mini SD card in here and it tells me how much of that stuff is going on. Or maybe this is just the internal storage. I don't know. It, uh, I'm not worried about storage. Like I said, I don't do uh, that much with the phone. It just sits here and gives me my internet uh, connection primarily. So... I don't have to worry about space, obviously, because you know I've got two thirds of it still open. Uh, power saving off because uh, you know it's plugged into the USB. It's getting power anyway, so I'm not worried about that. Battery, you know, maybe you want to. There is a a way to uh, conserve battery uh, power, so you could you know quiet down the screen uh, brightness or something. I don't know. 
applications uh, application manager is an important one this one will tell you all your applications and uh, I'm not sure if, if it, all of these are running or not but uh, let's see now these are not all the applications that uh, are on the phone so these may be running applications and uh, some of these are added by me I can tell already but uh, if you ever want to click on it, them and uh, conserve uh, memory I don't think you'll have a problem your uh, s3 uh, comes with a, a, a gob of memory so but anyway uh, yeah this one appears to be running and needlessly so so you can stop it from running in the background so it's not using uh, the memory but uh, still I don't think you'll you'll have a problem or you can just go ahead and uninstall this one from here which is is nice and I'll just do that I, I don't use this app and uh, I'll just uninstall it so you ask me am I sure do I want to uninstall it? yeah sure why not I can always reinstall it it's a piece of cake you just go to the Google Play Store and and reinstall it so and here's another one from Amazon this is like the Google uh, uh, Play Store it's you can buy the same apps uh, uh, almost as elegantly through Amazon and uh, I'll often use the uh, Amazon uh, gift cards so this is I'll leave this here for a minute and I'll probably reinstall that other app so just so you see but I'll force uh, stop it right now because it doesn't need to be running goodbye okay so these are apps this is your application manager and uh, this is what it looks like to to manage them so blah 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 application manager it's uh, important and again you get to that through the, these settings on this hardwired uh, button down at the left um, Let's see, application manager, location services, nothing much to speak of there. Wireless, GPS, I don't care about any of that stuff. Less is more to me. Lock screen, yeah, I don't do, do lock screens for security. Blah, blah, make passwords visible, sure, why not? Unknown sources, yes, yes. Allow uh, installation of apps from sources other than the Play Store. That would be like the... Uh, uh, Amazon uh, uh, apps uh, application if I did download them from there I want to make sure this was uh, checked so that you know it wouldn't give me trouble uh, actually installing that app so I keep that uh, uh, the way that is uh, security okay language and input this is a good one uh, Google voice typing I I enable that because uh, you know, typing's not my forte, and uh, I have a third-party uh, keyboard installed here, SwiftKey, and, uh, you know, I don't like to type anyway, so I'm still kind of playing around with which one I like best. The inherent uh, keyboard uh, that comes with the phone may be just as good as this. I don't know. Um, let's go back to that. Was there anything else down there? Mm, not much. Back up and reset. I don't care about that. Uh, we were here before on these accounts. You know, if you want to set up your Facebook, you know, type in your Facebook, your password, and uh, you'll get those Facebook notifications with that little Facebook app uh, on your your phone's desktop. Let's go back. Same with Google. Uh, let's see. Accessory, dock sound, audio, blah, 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 blah. Not much to speak of there. Accessibility, did we look at just now? Screen timeout. Now, see, I uh, set this. I knew we were going to be doing this, so I set this uh, for a long, long time. I set it down to 30 minutes, but generally, I would have it set about one minute because, uh, you know, you just don't need the screen to be on when you're not using it but since I was going to be talking and doing this I, I did that but if I didn't and I paused for a minute uh, it'd be going off and I'd have to wake it up so you can set it any way you want of course speak passwords accessibility 
Yeah, I don't have much much going on here. Uh, developer options. There is uh, one important thing on here that uh, uh, I do utilize is this USB debugging. That's what makes uh, my internet uh, USB connectivity uh, uh, function. So this has to uh, be checked if I'm going to use uh, uh, the internet. Yeah, see, I just lost that internet connection just by doing that. But when I checked it again, it, it uh, loaded up that uh, software. So let me connect that internet connection. So yeah, maybe I'll take a little gander over here to the uh, internet connection. See, you know, as you can see, I've got the Mac uh, uh, display here. But uh, when you do connect that... Uh, uh, your phone as well as mine even if you're not using it for uh, the uh, internet connection this is a program that's going to open on your desktop if you plug it into your computer and that's how you can transfer files from your computer or from your uh, phone back and forth is through this this piece of uh, software that comes and it basically gives the whole layout of your of your phone uh, uh, file system. So, you know, there's that Blondie ringtone uh, that I took off my computer. I dragged it and dropped it right into the, the uh, folder that I knew would uh, make it available to my phone so that when it rings, I hear, you got me hanging on the telephone. No, it's not hanging on the telephone. It's, uh, uh, oh, it's another one. Let's, let's go ahead and play it and see. And I'll have to play it on my computer. Let's see. Uh, Blondie. Blondie, Blondie, Blondie. Uh, yeah, it is. It's hanging on the telephone. There's my ringtone. <laughs> So anyway, that's how you can move uh, things back and forth, and I don't know, uh, here, here's another place where uh, uh, the snow day is that photo of the dog on my desktop, so that's how I brought it. I took it with a camera, uh, cropped it, did something with it on the uh, computer, and then dragged it and dropped it right into this, uh, this picture. Uh, folder and so it makes it available to the uh, phone for for that purpose all right so let's go back and where are we okay so developer uh, options uh, USB debugging allow mock locations I don't know maybe I want to be I spy or something but nothing else is really too remarkable here it's all kind of high-tech stuff but uh, that is one that uh, for my purposes was important so there's uh, activate this device you're not going to need that system update if there's ever a firmware or update in the uh, operating system the Android system you might be able to get to it from here I wouldn't worry about that about this device okay you know stuff it's just stuff Okay, so those are the uh, system settings. And uh, again, right down here in that left-hand uh, hardwired button, system settings, uh, apparently wallpaper's got its own uh, little selection. And like I said, I, I use my own uh, picture, so that's not too important. I haven't been in here much either, but this is my uh, uh, Nova uh, launcher. It gives you a little more flexibility in what to... Uh, uh, how to uh, change things and personalize it, customize it for your own purposes, uh, as you can see. And since I dropped something, I left a little space there, so I'm going to go ahead and. Oops. Stop it. I just wanted to drag and drop it but I actually opened it so that's got those gaps out and I've got more room down here for other stuff but that's my starting point 
I've got a couple of gaps there, so I should probably drag and drop. And, but this is where I usually uh, uh, begin from. The middle, I've got some, some more shortcuts over here. And a couple of little ones here. And I like this little widget here. This is that Google uh, search and uh, 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 speech recognition. So you don't need your uh, uh, browser's icon to do uh, an immediate search. You just click on that little widget. Facebook. Whoops. Let me see. Let me click on it. Facebook.com. And there you are. So, you know, it recognizes speech pretty well. So if you kind of plan what you're going to uh, search for, just uh, speak it instead of uh, using the, the little miniature uh, uh, keyboard. You know, I'm not a good typist anyway, and those little keyboards are really not my bag so much. So uh, I like uh, Google's uh, uh, speech uh, recognition. It's, it's pretty good. Not that I spend much time on the Internet through the phone. Like I say, I use this to give me the Internet here, and uh, that's what, what I'm doing. It's, uh, let me see, let me throw up a, a web page. This is right on, uh, uh, right on the internet through that phone. Okay, so let's hit the back button or the home button and get out of all that stuff. So anyway, Sonette, those are some of the things that I think, uh, you'll think are important too. It's just a, a quick overview of how to navigate and how to change things around and what some of the functionality is, uh, especially things to me, but I think you too, you know, with, uh, you know, you don't need to know how to make a call. You obviously are doing that already, but these little icons about, whoops, everything you touch just prompts something. So, uh, you know, there's, neat little things you can do and put your kitties pictures and stuff and there's widgets and there's applications and shortcuts to them and um, again uh, to get to the applications to me the only way I know how is, is through this little shortcut right there that shows them all to you and that'll be a, a place you'll be going to uh, especially initially you know after a while I I don't even go back to this stuff anymore because I've already got, uh, like I say, the uh, the things I use out here on a uh, a shortcut. You know the the apps I use. So, you know, don't worry about all that bloatware and all those extra apps you never use. There, some of them you can't get rid of anyway. It, the the phone just you know won't let you. Some of them you can, and you can certainly add to them. But let's do that. Let's uh. Let's show you how to add uh, an application, a third party. Uh, in many uh, cases, they're free. And, uh, you know, the way they uh, are able to do that is they'll usually offer the application for free with some ads down at the bottom. But if you want to pay the dollar fifty, two bucks, three bucks, five bucks, whatever it is, uh, you'll get it ad free so it's really a, a good way to help people get the functionality right up front and then if they really want ad free they can pay a couple of bucks but uh, on your phone it will come with this play store uh, application icon or shortcut and that's what it looks like it looks like a shopping bag with a little google triangle and so just hit that it'll go onto the internet and uh, you will see a whole plethora of applications, movies. You can uh, rent movies, buy movies, and uh, and for a guy like me, uh, you know, there is uh, um, uh, Google Play uh, gift cards. So that's what I do. I buy my gift cards. It's tax free that way, and uh, you know, it's all good. So here's the apps. Let's click on apps. And again, you can do the search just by uh, clicking on that little uh, magnifying glass, and it may even let you just speak it. So let me think of a uh, 
an application and that's what I'll do. I'll re-download that uh, Amazon application that I've, I've deleted. So I'll click on this and so it, it's let me it's given me the option right now either to type in the application I'm looking for it's Amazon or click that uh, microphone uh, so I can speak it so let me see if I can speak it and it'll get it amazon.com there it is bingo that's the one I trash that's the one I'll reinstall so let's do that let's click on it and it's asking me install because it's a free one you know they want you to shop uh, however you can and this is one of the ways so let's install it okay it's telling me uh, what this application uh, potentially will do some things may be objectionable but no you, you kinda take what uh, you can get and what they're offering is all you can get so yeah I accept uh, those terms come on hit it okay now it's downloading so it's going right to my uh, phone and that this is the fastest way to get an application on your phone but there is another way if if you're uh, uh, hooked up to the internet to uh, your computer like I am I can actually uh, uh, go to the uh, Google Play Store on my computer and download it to my phone from my computer it takes longer that way though see how quick that was see we're already there it's it's on the phone but if I were to do do it from the computer it takes longer because it's a bigger loop and it's just faster to do it on your phone and and for you that's all you're gonna be doing I know you're not gonna be hooking your uh, phone up to get an internet connection so that's how you can uh, get an app so let's go back to the apps and uh, let's let's go to the top paid because usually they're the ones that are the better ones and s see there's that uh, keyboard uh, that uh, Swift aftermarket keyboard let's see what that did cost me it's an editor's pick I don't know what it costs I don't see the price anywhere but it does cost something and they might uh, they might let you install it uh, to begin with for free, but uh, limit some of the ability of it until you pay. I don't even see the price. See here is a, a type Swift key keyboard for free. So yeah, that's that's how they do it. Maybe there's uh, maybe the free one has the. Uh, uh, advertising and then it it's a top paid because people do actually like to get rid of those so anyway hit the back button see what else is out here now here's that Nova Launcher Prime this is you know another one I have and so you know I'm picking things that other people are liking and hopefully that's a, a good sign because uh, they're popular and uh, it's the kind of functionality that I was looking for. If I'm going to use a keyboard, I want to use one that is a little easier uh, for a guy like me. and I want to personalize it a little bit more. So, Other than that, I haven't really done a whole lot. This is uh, very nearly the, the program I'm using to get the internet connection. Uh, it's not Fox 5, but it has that same program accompanied with it. It's not this one. Uh, actual one I'm using is PDA net plus and we may see that here in a second that's what gives you your internet connection through the USB and it's brilliant brilliant I would think that would be a top paid one but you can get it free uh, up front and uh, it it times out after I think 20 minutes on the internet so if you want want it to not have to keep uh, restart and uh, drop connection you gotta pay a few bucks I think it was about five bucks here's another popular uh, launcher this uh, Apex Launcher Pro that's three ninety five no let's, let's go back maybe there's the prices I just didn't notice them my eyesight's not as good as it used to be yeah okay now see it's not showing the price because it already knows I have it and it's indicating to me there is an update so I can get 
that update right now because I've paid and I'll just do that I'll just update my keyboard won't that be nice won't cost me anything because I've already bought it and it's gonna update it for me so hopefully this is helpful to you to know that you know this is how how you know I don't know it's elegant simple and easy it's no fuss no muss and the applications don't cost much and I wouldn't suggest to go in there and buy a bunch of this stuff and uh, but this is one of one of the few that I have bought uh, is is a keyboard because it was rated well you can check the internet and look at different apps uh, uh, rating and uh, you can do it right on this this page you can see people already talk about how well they like it and compared to the keyboard on their phones many times it'll be like the uh, uh, Samsung line of uh, keyboards they're they're rating it against okay so this is Google Play. You can get to it from Amazon, too. If you go on Amazon.com, you can go on, uh, just do a search on their Android apps. You can purchase them from there, too. Uh, getting them into your phone might be a little tricky from your computer, but it's not for me. So anyway, here's, here's apps. Let's go to the home. Let's go to the store home. So yeah, see there's books, newsstand, music, I guess you can buy music. I still uh, am kind of Apple-centric for my music purposes, but still you can take your uh, uh, Apple iTunes music and drop them into your phone. So I, you know, I wouldn't uh, start mixing uh, Play Store and Amazon and iTunes. I, I'd keep them all in one one kind of corral or batch and for for me still uh, iTunes for movies and uh, music and, and renting uh, movies is, is still where I go now I'll sometimes rent a movie off uh, Amazon uh, uh, dot com but uh, you know for purchases it, I'm still a, a, an iTunes guy but you know now I, I still I really don't buy too much on iTunes anymore uh, anyway, because I watch a lot of uh, YouTube and uh, also uh, I watch uh, movies and TV shows uh, that come out even quicker than Hulu and uh, Hulu Plus is uh, uh, a website called uh, TubePlus.me. Yeah, I think that's it. So you can watch a lot of the uh, good news shows uh, for free there. So anyway, I think uh, I'll wrap up. I'll hit the home home screen button there. There's that application that uh, we downloaded. That's where they'll show up, right on your home screen. So where I uh, deleted it from, where was it? I thought it was here. Did I move something else over there? I forget. Anyway. I'll leave it there for now or no I'll just uh, I'll hold on it and see removing it doesn't delete it it doesn't trash it it doesn't erase it see removing it just gets it off the desktop and it'll be back in the uh, uh, applications uh, folders uh, but you could in uninstall it here that is trashing it getting rid of it but I'll just remove it and see it's gone I dismissed it but let's go back and, and just ensure that it is still there and sure enough it's right in that uh, upper left corner the first thing you see it it's not gone it's it's still there so you know your apps just don't be afraid to remove them you know when you can see that you know it's not a uninstalling it's not deleting it's not trashing them it's just removing them from your desktop so Hit your home button and everything's back. I usually like to keep this just like that. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions, Sonette, uh, with your new uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. You're doing yours through uh, Virgin Mobile just like I am. I'm paying only the uh, uh, 35 bucks a month for uh, unlimited data and, uh, oh, 300 minutes uh, per month. And uh, I guess you've uh, bumped up to the 45 bucks uh, a month and get uh, 1,200 uh, 
minutes with unlimited data. So yeah, that's a, a smart thing for somebody who's not a phoneaholic. It's give you plenty of minutes, plenty of data if you're going to use that. And uh, you've got a brilliant phone. Uh, it's uh, ooh, kind of uh, all the stuff, you know. So I, I hope these kind of things that I pointed out, you know, give you you know, a way to navigate and not be afraid. Okay, yeah, I, I was wondering about that or, you know, how do I do that? So these are the kind of things that, you know, I, I found uh, important or functional, you know, getting things set up the way I want and putting things uh, that are useful and kind of dismissing the other things that I don't use. So uh, there's a lot of technology in the palm of your hand with one of these uh, these days. They're brilliant. Uh, even though Android's not an iPhone, it still plays well with your uh, uh, Mac computers. And uh, I dig them. I dig them. I think they're a brilliant value. And uh, so let me know if uh, there's anything else you're wondering about. Uh, uh, you know, maybe I can help you. And, and if I can, I can probably go find the answer. I've probably got more time on my hands than you do. Okay? I love you, sister. Bye-bye. Mm, okay, so Nat Christian here. And uh, I got a little addendum on that uh, Android uh, smartphone overview uh, YouTube that I did. Uh, of course, I mentioned uh, that I was a novice in the text uh, that described that little video. But... Uh, you know, I mentioned on there uh, about the apps and uh, down in, in this little dock area where you can uh, swipe from side to side. I, I don't have any uh, little shortcuts right in that middle section there. I think I'm liking it without them there because this is my home screen in the middle. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, less cluttered without anything there. And, you know, wherever I... Uh, go with these things if I hit the home button it'll always come back to that clean uh, interface there with just the photo so you know I'm kind of playing with that uh, that way but this little lower section this dock uh, uh, you know I, I think it's functional enough and helpful enough and uh, I mentioned on that video that uh, that little icon there was the only way I knew whoops I didn't want to hit that but that little round thing that with the uh, dots, that icon is uh, what gets you to your uh, your uh, applications and your widgets. And uh, at the time I said, uh, this was just a day and a half ago, I said that's the only way I knew how to get to your apps. And uh, that was true at, at the moment. But I got to thinking about it a little more and uh, uh, I... Uh, uh, found that there is another way to get to your apps. If you don't want to use that dock that way and you want to keep a clean interface uh, for some reason, there is another way. If, if you trash one of these icons, you can uh, get all that stuff back. And there's another way to put uh, those shortcuts on your uh, desktop or in your uh, dock down at the bottom there. And uh, that's just uh, by holding uh, for a, a, a little lengthier time on the screen and it'll give you these apps. Now this up top here says Nova Actions and that is uh, undoubtedly because of that little uh, uh, third party interface I have installed here but I'm sure you'll get all these other uh, uh, selections here like apps. And so this is another way to get to your uh, uh, apps without uh, that little shortcut and it might even be a little more elegant to do it this way because uh, like uh, instead of uh, pressing and holding and dragging it to uh, whatever uh, page you want you just click on that and it drops it right there then you can drag and move whatever you want to do Oops. I don't really want that, so it's going bye-bye. So anyway, just press and hold on the screen, and you'll get this uh, little add to home screen uh, uh, ability. And uh, I wasn't aware of that right off uh, offhand, but uh, on the video I did accidentally hit that, and I recalled, hey, yeah, that's right, you know, you you can uh, invoke that, and uh, here it is. And uh, I just thought I'd add this uh, to uh, uh, your... Uh, 
a little notification on Facebook, you know, since it's all new to you. And let's look at some more. Here's shortcuts. And they are uh, just uh, like the apps, I think. Uh, you'll get a, a shortcut to one. But, like, you might want to do something here instead of having just that little phone icon. You could give uh, each person in a, 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 their own little contact uh, uh, picture like this one, dial direct, uh, or a, a message. You know, those could be more personalized. You could put them down in those uh, docking areas or on one of your desktop uh, areas. What else? Let's go back to that. Okay, widgets. Same thing. Uh, let them load up there. Blockchain balance. See, this is a little widget that I wouldn't keep it up there, but you can move them around and sometimes you can change the size of these, resize them. A little smaller, a little wider, I don't know. Just neat, neat little personalizations. So anyway, that is uh, one thing I wanted to mention is you've got uh, another way to get to stuff. Now this up here is, is my little overlay and uh, see this will give you that uh, shortcut to the uh, applications. I keep bumping stuff. But there it is. Uh, what else could I mention? Down here in the settings, there was something I was thinking. This is my uh, Nova settings here. I don't know if you'll ever want to consider anything like this. This gets a little more complicated, a little more uh, adjustable, but... Uh, oh, like in that dock setting there, that's that little area down below. I have the dock enabled, but you could uh, do away with it altogether. Um, change the uh, uh, icon sizes, small. I think I had mine set on medium, so I'm going to leave it that way. But that's just more stuff. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to point out that just hold on the screen. You get some more uh, uh, ability to drop apps and shortcuts and get two apps. Uh, if you ever... Uh, uh, have a problem some more uh, shortcuts that aren't in your apps or widgets may be in here and uh, this one I, I thought was kind of nifty this will give you that Google uh, search voice with just one one icon uh, Google Britney Spears birthday Wait for it. Britney Spears' date of birth is December 2nd, 1981. Hey, there it is. Okay, so if you want, you know, quick uh, uh, voice uh, search uh, without typing or anything, uh, that's a way. Just drop you that uh, little cookie icon somewhere on your desktop. And, yeah, I'm still kind of clumsy with this stuff. That's the one. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.